Hey everyone, it is Friday afternoon. The weekend is finally here. It has been warm, pretty much quiet, but we are seeing a few isolated thunderstorms out west. First of all, here's Sky 5 from the island. Pretty shot, 84 degrees. Winds out of the east at 9 miles an hour. Let's move inland. Right now we've got temperatures in the 80s and 90s. 91 degrees in McAllen, 89 in Harlingen, 90 in Brownsville, 87 in Port Isabel. Look in the left-hand side of your screen, by the way. So we have a thunderstorm in the Alamo area. That is called a rain shaft, a dark area coming down from that a thundercloud. So we'll zoom in on the radar to show you where that rain shaft and the shower is. It is moving to the southwest. Here's I-2, the far interchange, and now moving to the southwest of Expressway 83, heading to the far area. Those of you in far, watch out for some locally heavy downpours. This is a brief storm moving out of the way toward the southwest, lightening it out of the question as well. And it should be dry later on uh, this over the next hour or so, but you can always get your forecast on the KRGB weather app. Very slight chance at 7 o'clock this evening for a shower. Otherwise, it's dry. 80 degrees at 9 p.m. We're going to cool off into the lower 70s overnight. We'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies later on this evening, but there is a full moon again, so early on this evening when it's mostly clear, go out and enjoy the nice side of the moon. If you're heading to the state parks for this weekend, here's the forecast for tomorrow, 84 at 11 a.m., 89 at 2 p.m., 80 at 4 p.m. Most will stay dry, but there is a 20% chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon, so if I were you, I would take the umbrellas just in case it rains on you. Again, mainly dry, but that slight chance cannot be ruled out for tomorrow afternoon for a shower thunderstorm. So it is pretty much quiet otherwise here in the valley, but here is latest on Tropical Storm Cristobal. It is now emerging from the Yucatan Peninsula. You can see that circulation, most of the convection or thunderstorms are to the east of that center of circulation. That's because we have some wind shear pushing those thunderstorm tops off to the east and also some dryer. So those are two things working against uh, Cristobal strengthening over the next couple of days. Right now, 535 miles to the the south of the mouth of the Mississippi River. That orange, those are tropical storm warnings from Morgan City, Louisiana, all the way to the Florida Panhandle. Right now, maximum winds are 40 miles per hour. The good news is Cristobal is still not going to affect the RGB directly. However, there are a couple of side effects uh, for Cristobal with the RGB as it moves to the north. Here's the official forecast track from the Hurricane Center almost due north uh, for this weekend. Staying a tropical storm, we think landfall is sometime Sunday early evening in Louisiana, then heading off to the uh, north and to the northeast as a tropical depression. Let's hope it moves fast and does not slow down. Because of Cristobal, here are some of the side effects, if you will. We're going to have high surf and some coastal flooding. Coastal flood advisory is in effect until 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon for coastal Willis in Cameron County, shown in the lime green color because of the effects of Cristobal. Cristobal is going to send uh, some of that water heading our way toward the coast. So because of that, a coastal flooding, a very good possibility, especially on a high tide tomorrow morning. With that in mind, also, high surf expected for tomorrow and Sunday. If you're going to the island, please be careful. Swim near a lifeguard. We're going to have a high rip current risk both Saturday and Sunday at SPI. 86 tomorrow, maybe a stray storm, and then 88 degrees on a Sunday. Weekend forecast inland. It gets hotter by Sunday. 91 tomorrow. There's a 20% chance of shower thunderstorm, but it dries out for Sunday as so dry air to the west of Cristobal moves into our valley. Mostly sending skies again. Cristobal, not a threat to the valley, but we'll see that coastal flooding at the island and some high surf. So here's future track. Partly to mostly cloudy skies tonight. Watch out for some patchy overnight fog. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, maybe an isolated shower or a thunderstorm. I think it's going to be dry for Sunday thanks to the dry air. This model still puts in a chance for some showers at 3 p.m., but I think it's just going to be dry here in the valley on Sunday and mostly Sunday. So the rain chance is just 20% tomorrow. Then it's dry for Sunday and Monday. We may have a weak front. Yes, a weak front coming late Wednesday night, so we'll put in a 10% chance of a shower when Wednesday and Thursday. On the water, winds out of the east and northeast at 10 to 15 knots. The bay waters are moderate chop and the seas 3 to 6 feet. Forecast lows tonight, low to mid 70s with 80 degrees on the island. Watch out for that patchy overnight fog. Tomorrow it is going to be warm, especially out west. Mid 90s, Rio Grande City. Mid 80s on the island. Lower 90s here in Westlaco. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Here's that first Warren 5 AccuWeather 7 day forecast. We warm up over the next couple of days. Mid 90s on Sunday. And then there's a big ridge of high pressure build over Texas. That's going to send our high temperatures in the triple digits for Monday and Tuesday. Hot and sunny and maybe a slight chance for a shower Wednesday, Thursday, hopefully cooling off into the lower 90s, maybe less humid for next Thursday and Friday. That is your first Warren 5 AccuWeather forecast.